Hello Pisces and welcome to your mid-August reading. I'm so excited to look into the energy with you today. Um, we're going to be looking in the sun, moon, and rising signs of the Pisces Collective. So the energies can be reversed, meaning assign the roles as you please. All right, here we go. Remember that I'm not going to resonate with everybody. So if I don't resonate with you, uh, it's, a, it's a possibility. So, um, But if I don't, then there's always something in the reading for you. So go ahead and stick around and see what uh, what's in it. These messages are timeless. And so whenever you come upon this reading is when it is for you. And because there is no time in the energy that we are accessing to find out what's going on. That's why we can't, as readers, tell you when something's going to happen. Like, oh, it's going to happen in five days. Oh, it's going to happen in a week. Oh, it's going to happen in a month. No, it's going to happen whenever it's supposed to happen for you energetically, vibrationally. There's, there's no way we can guess that. We just know that it's going to happen because the universe is telling us that. All right. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Here we go. Pisces, we are looking for mid-August. So this is you now. This is the next step. This is the obstacle that's in your way, the strength that is helping you, and the outcome. Let's figure out what is going on. The overall energy is the strength card and the fact that you are in a really good position. So whatever it is that you've done up until this point has created a space for you to be in such a great place that whatever we're moving through, you're going to need strength, but the strength comes from the fact that you've already been there, done that, and you've put everything in place so that this will work out a lot smoother for you. So I'm not feeling like it's going to be treacherous or anything like that. Oh gosh, have strength because this is the end, <laughs> you know, or something like that. No, I'm feeling like it's just like we're moving through some energy. It's going to take you like, um, flexing your strength muscle. <laughs> we could say it that way. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the the you. The you in the, uh, the mid-month of August and to the end of August, early September. Let's see what the energy that's going to be flowing in and out of that month is, or that part of the month is going to be. So you are in a place where you're putting things down. This is great. This is awesome. Because I know the energy through the 8-8 that I've been accessing and looking at has been really tough for some of you guys. For you to be done putting something down is a beautiful place to be. For you to be putting those burdens down that you may have carried for years, you may have carried for months or um, whatever it is, it's like you're finally able to put it down. You're finally able to say, I think I'm done with this. I think... I don't need this anymore. And so that is a great place to be. Your next step, the next step for you is that events are going to start speeding up. Locks are going to be lifted. You're going to feel like taking action. Um, also, if you're a writer, this is a good time to start writing again. And um, writing, like writing if you are writing a novel or you just like to write poems or something like that, this is a good time for you to do that. You're going to attract all the support that you need. If you have travel plans, this is okay. This is a good time to travel. Uh, and let's see, it's just gonna be really a fired up time and time to take action. So that's really good. This is also someone bringing in some communication to you as well. So whenever you have wands, wands is communication. So it looks like somebody might be bringing to you communication um, or maybe you're bringing commu communication into someone else, but definitely August has been a big month of communication. So hopefully you guys got your conversations going <laughs> because, um, yeah, it really was a huge month for that. Okay, so what is in your way? Like, what is the obstacle? Uh, you're still feeling left out in the cold. So this person either hasn't come in yet. Um, or there's some other aspect in your life where you're feeling left out in the cold. So either you're feeling left out by the person that hasn't shown up yet, or you're feeling left out by whatever is um, showing up in your life right now. And I'm feeling like there's a lot of people, because I just read for Gemini, I feel like Gemini had the same thing, where loneliness and abandonment was coming up for them real strong. Although I don't feel like it's really strong for you, I do feel like there's like this tinge of man, I just wish that this would blow over and we could be together again or we could build something. That type of energy is what I'm feeling around this card right here. Is the, the obstacle is that this person's not seeing you or you feel like this person doesn't see you. Um, I'm feeling more like it's that than the other way around of maybe you're leaving someone out in the cold. I just don't feel that strong of an energy from you, uh, Pisces. I feel like it's somebody's doing that to you, okay? The strength, what's helping you right now 
is that you have a lot of support around you. You have a lot of friendships around you. It's really interesting because I was learning about um, like narcissists and how they control people in their lives. And one of the ways they do it is by taking them away from all of their support groups, all of their friends. Um, they, they really kind of isolate the person so that they can control them. So I'm feeling like if that was you, then the fact that you have all these people around you and all these people speaking these beautiful things to you and validating you and giving you um, the love that you need, that if you're not getting it from somewhere else like this place, it's okay because you're getting it right here. And that's good for now, but eventually you're going to need to deal with whatever this is that's making you feel like that, feeling out in the cold. Let's go ahead. I want to dive into that really quickly, like the feeling out in the cold thing. It's cool that you got people around you. You want this person around you, though. you know? It's like if you if you remember being a kid, like for Valentine's Day, and um, all the kids gave you Valentine's cards, and it was sweet and all, except for the one person you wanted the Valentine Valentine's Day card from. Like they were either sick from school, or they ran out of cards, and they didn't get to yours, or something like that. And all you wanted was that person's Valentine's Day card. Dang it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then you're like, well, I mean, I got all these other ones, and you may have gotten great candy from the other cards. Is you would all you didn't care if you got candy from this person you just wanted their valentine's day card you know? that's so funny that they gave me that i kind of remember being in like elementary school and having my uh my valentine's day bag out and uh waiting to see if that person was going to put the valentine's thing in, in my in my bag you know and then when you get home you go through all the valentines to see if that person did <laughs> so it's funny you have all these people around you that are really helping you and making you feel really good, but the one person you want to feel good from is not probably manifested in your experience yet. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so there's something that's still making you feel trapped, um, and that's why we still have this left out in the cold feeling, even though you got all these people around you. There's something trapping you and trapping your emotions and trapping your mind, and you just want to take the blindfold off and walk right out of those swords, but you need this other person to do that. Because you can't see a future without this person physically being in your existence. So it's difficult for you to actually see where are we going. And I was talking, saying that to Gemini, like you can't see past your nose. You know what I mean? Like where are we going? Um, but this is a heavenly guided manifestation to heal the pain in both your guys' hearts. So it's coming for uh, whoever this is, whatever's going on in this direction. All right, so let's look at um, the outcome is once again i mean you're just going to still be in a good place you're going to be very strong let's i want a little bit stronger outcome than that because that's kind of a little weak for me um it's great and all but it looks like we we already talked about the overall energy of you being in a good place and you being strong and then we're getting the outcome as being the same which is good but let's really show me something give me something good <laughs> you know show me something Show me, show me, show me how you do that trick. The one that makes me scream, she says. All right, let's see. What do we got? The world. Okay, there we go. Good. I love it. Okay, so wow. They sure gave me a lot. All right, so you're definitely, this is being in a good spot because you're going to have the world. You're going to have everything. Um, and it's going to put you in a place where you're going to need to make a decision, a logical decision about what you want and where you want to go about this king of wands that's coming in king of wands is communication as well it's also someone who's expressing themselves maybe you're expressing yourself it's being self-aware what you really want and what you really need and that is opening up so many doors for you to uh to walk away from deception and walk away from the things that uh didn't the, the person or the people that did not give you love um did not give you it in the way that you needed they had withheld love for you from you or something like that um and it's going to give you the combination of the queen of cups and the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups is like she's beautiful um she is super loving so this is the, the cups is always love and the pentacles is money reliability this is nurture this is uh boundaries this is um a, she's affectionate um caring taking care of like yourself and your body and then this is like somebody who makes the world a better place so you're going to be all of that so i'm surprised i didn't get the empress card because this is like this is like 
the, the Empress times 1 million, right? It's really good. You're going to feel really, really good about yourself. Um, and they're showing me like this last card is that it's going to make you move into a certain direction, which is really good for you and very fulfilling for you. And so really excited to see how that's going to manifest out. I'm going to go ahead and use these new cards that I got. Um, I used them for Gemini. They're really pretty. Oh man, they're all mixed up. What did I do? Okay, let's go ahead. And then I might want to go ahead. Let me see if I want some other advice cards, but let's go. Let's just see what we have. Since we have some time left, we can dig into romance if you wanted. Oh. Okay. What do we got from these cards? What kind of information? Oh. Very beautiful. Ooh, nice. All right. So, um... Take care of yourself. So in the process of all of this, that's why you got the strength card, is that we need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves, especially when emotions run high. Um, then we want to make sure that we are actually specifically taking care of ourselves. So um, there is somebody who's coming in with an older soul to teach you. Now, older soul could be a child. It could be like a five-year-old child that just has a really old soul that teaches you something. So someone, it could be an elderly person, but I really feel like it's just going to be someone who has an old soul that's going to teach you something beautiful. Um, here we go again with the writing. Creativity, genius, writing, expression, and artistic flow. So once upon a dreamy night, we're going to be very artistic and creative this month. And then something about the gift of your sacred site. So yeah, there were, I was talking to, I think it was in the Lionsgate video where we were talking about um, how a lot of people are getting their, their visual sight. So something with that Lionsgate opening up people's clairvoyancy, which is really cool. And clairvoyancy, so that you know what that's like, it's different for everybody. For me, I see like a movie in my mind. So I'll see like, um, I'll just see something playing out in my mind and, and happening. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I just say what I see. For other people, there's symbolism that they see. Uh, so they might see like pictures and things. So I go to one medium and she just sees pictures and then she'll explain the picture to me. And she said, sometimes the picture doesn't have any meaning to anyone else but her, but sometimes she'll tell me what she sees. And then it actually makes more sense to me than it does for her sometimes because it, it has something to do with my life experience for me. Like that's why she does that. So it, it looks very different for people. Some people see movies, some people see pictures, some people see symbols, some people see colors. So you might be somebody who sees auras and that might be something Something that's opening up for you Pisces you're the last zodiac of uh, the last sign in the zodiac so you've been on the planet a gazillion a bunch of times right so it's possible Pisces that it's time for you to start opening up the gift of sight so that's beautiful um, let me see hmm for those of you who are in the huge soulmate cycle let's go ahead and get some love cards and just see what's happening there I don't know if this relationship that left you out in the cold has anything to do with love, but it could. It could be um, like a job, like where you didn't get something from a job. Like maybe you got passed up on a promotion, which is really crappy, but it happens, right? So let's see what we got. So this is really cool. So for those of you who are in love, we have um, make the effort. So great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So if this person comes in, or if you end up going to someone, make the effort in the relationship and um, move forward. So there's also another one about getting to know each other. So you're going to start to reveal your innermost self to someone and then bond very deeply with them. And that's going to be cool because you have the energy for that this month. And then we have chemistry. There's strong mag magnetic attraction here. So this is the type of person that when you, when you, if you haven't talked to them for a really long time, as soon as you do talk to them, it's like instant attraction. And you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's like magnetic and um, very powerful. So that is awesome. We all like that. And then the last one is finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love, right, love life right now. We know that already. What that has to do is this love that um, is coming towards you is actually opening the door for your finances somehow. And they may not understand it. So cross watchers that are watching are like, what are you talking about? But it has something to do with it. So it could be something as simple as once this this couple unites, and especially if they're like, uh, and I don't generally use the word twin flame as much because um, after my QHHT session, I just have a different thought process about it. However, um, if it is like a twin flame or a very strong soulmate, 
you know, that magnetic attraction could open up the door, say, to like winning the lottery or something like that, you know, where you just win something big. And that's because you did what you were supposed to do, what you said you were going to do. And, and we don't know, always know why we make these contractual agreements with who we make and why we make them. Was it just for you? Was it just for them? Or was it for the entire universe? that magnetic attraction. So very interesting, cool. Anyway, guys, if you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you soon. Bye.